everyone, it's Nita from Nita's Nummies and today is a gorgeous day because I just received a package from a lovely little company by the name of Ritual Chocolates. Wonderful artisan handcrafted chocolates using European methods with a modern twist. So hang tight, I'm about to open up this box and see just what they've sent me. I'm excited, are you? Hang tight. I am back and I have opened up this lovely box from Ritual Chocolates Company and they have sent me a lovely package of all kinds of, of chocolates. Now they are into small batch handcrafted chocolates and this packaging is to die for. How adorable. Love it. And the colors, I just can't get enough of these colors. Look at this. So darn cute. Now when you have a package like this, you know you're getting something good. So I'm going to open these up and show you guys just what they've sent. Now their focus is on the origins of the cacao beans. Now they don't like to add a lot of different flavorings to the, to the chocolate. Rather, they would like you to experience the origin of the chocolate. So this one is Peru. So Peru, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Maranon. Anyway, it is floral, herbal, toasted peanuts, and stone fruit, I guess, are the tasting notes for this particular chocolate. So on the back, it tells you the batch number, when it was harvested, and the best by date, how to store it as well. So, and the ingredients, which are very simple ingredients. You guys already know all about that with me. Love my simple ingredients. Let's crack this baby open and see what it's all about. Now I'm only gonna try three of these today because there's about six or seven different ones that they've sent me and I just cannot eat all that chocolate in one day even though I love chocolate and this looks so darn delicious. I'm just gonna give it a little try, okay? Gotta be careful and keep that girlish figure, right? <laughs> so let's open this baby up. Oh, that's so chocolatey smelling. All right, look at this. Very pretty, the pattern on the chocolate mimics the pattern on the packaging. Very cute. Let's break off a little piece and give it a try. That is a little florally, a little herbally. It's just pure, pure chocolate and delicious. When you get something that's origin, when their focus is on the quality of the bean and the bean to the bar process, it's a very different experience. And I always compare it to as if you're sipping a fine wine. You know, it has those lovely, flavor notes in there. The Peru, delicious, really good chocolate. All right, the next one we're gonna try is the Bourbon Barrel Aged. Now, this doesn't actually have bourbon in it, but it's Bourbon Barrel Aged. Let's give it a try, beautiful packaging, lovely cream color, love that. All right, let's see. Not only do they focus on quality, but this company also says that they support the people who grow their raw ingredients. So they care. They care about where the chocolate's coming from, the sustainability, and the people that actually grow it. So here's another bar. You know, let's see, plain and simple. Bourbon barrel age. Smells good. That has some amazing flavor notes in there. You can tell that it's bourbon barrel aged. Honey, nougat, oak, and whiskey. Bourbon barrel aged. Again, it doesn't contain any alcohol, but it, it was aged in a barrel. Bourbon barrel. Yum. Quality chocolate. The next one we're gonna try is the Belize Toledo, the origins of Belize. So let's see. They sent me a couple of this one, so 
It's gotta be good, let's give it a try. I've had Belize chocolate before, let's see what theirs is all about. Dried fig, cherry, and tobacco. Typically, Belize chocolate does have kind of a tart cherry aftertaste. Let's see. Definitely that tart cherry aftertaste. Dried fig. Definitely all these, every region has its own flavor profiles. And that is exactly a delicious Belize Toledo chocolate. I love that. I love that tart cherry kind of aftertaste. It doesn't contain cherry. It's just a flavor note. Delicious. All right. Now we've got Mid Mountain, Fleur de Sel, and another Belize Toledo. I'm going to try the Mid Mountain today, and that's gonna be the last one I try. But let's give it a whirl because it sounds delicious. Mid Mountain Origin, that's the blend today. Here's our lovely bar. Let's see the tasting notes here. Strawberry, fudge, and graham cracker. Let's see. It does have a little bit of kind of strawberry fruitiness to it. And at the end, I do taste a little graham kind of cracker. You know, the way that graham crackers have that, I don't know how to describe that flavor that they have, but I do get that from that. That's a delicious bar. You know, Ritual Chocolate, you guys are making some quality chocolates. I love your packaging. I love that you tell us all the information we need to know on the back of your labels as far as the batch number, where, they, where you got it from, how to store it, and the harvest year. And of course, the origin of the chocolate. Lovely job, lovely company. I encourage you folks to give them a try and go to their website, which is ritualchocolates.com and I will post it right down here so you guys can see it. I encourage you guys to go visit them and find out just where you can get them. They, they make their chocolates in Park City, Utah, where they have a cafe there as well. So if you're ever in that area, give them, give them a try, check them out, and go visit their website and see just where you can get them. Ritual Chocolates, I thank you so much for sending me all these delicious chocolates, such quality, such integrity. Thank you so much. What a wonderful company. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.